YouTubers, fellow gamers, this is Ross Elgar, and this is XCOM 2. Uh, I'm doing this as a favor to a personal friend of mine, uh, Joshua Burkett. A little shout out to you. Uh, I was in a discussion with him about uh, his new disc jockey set. Uh, he's a disc jockey up in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And uh, the actual image of the uh, disc jockey equipment uh, had a likeness to Spark here in XCOM 2, and I suggested that as its name he was asking for it. Uh, which got into discussion, he, he had played XCOM, but he has not played XCOM 2, and he wondered to know what it was like, and I said, it's awesome, and I'll tell you what, uh, I'll do a video just for you, uh, highlighting XCOM 2, so you can see just how awesome it is, and he said, fantastic, good. So, here we are. Now, I went ahead and I've uh, created a, my options here for the new game. We're going to be doing this on veteran um, <clears throat> where I, well, I'll probably go ahead and enable subtitles. We'll go ahead and uh, reduce the beginner stuff. And let's see here. I think that's what we'll do for now. But let me take a step back. I'm going to show you the character pool. Now, these are actual people that uh, I can create here. And I want to show you just kind of this creati creativity pool here. Uh, Randomly it selects one, but you can change everything about this particular character. Uh, we can change their name, their nationality, their info, and that's right here. So let's start here. And let's first let's make this uh, a man. And we'll get back to the reason why here, but I think you'll see why. What I'm going to do here, we're going to change his name to Joshua. And we're going to percut. Alright, we're going to make his nationality the United States. And we'll see, we'll let the game pick a nickname for him here pretty soon, but uh, let's go back. And let's see, okay, that, sorry, we're skin color. I think his eyes are hazel, if I recall, Josh, if I remember right, but we'll get, we'll do a little blue. Now, come back to Josh here and finish this out. We can go to his face. And let's find a face that kind of looks like him a little bit. Hmm. Maybe? No? There? He's kind of got short hair. And he's got a bit of a scruffy beard. Yeah, not quite that much. Let's see. Sideburns. Shadow. And uh <laughs> it's a bit cartoonish, but it's a it's within approximation. I think Josh is probably laughing right now, but uh, uh as far as I remember anything else is right. Um I'll have to compare this with a photo later. Let's see, that's well we'll, we'll just call that Josh for now, right? But that's Josh. So there you go, Josh. You're actually in the game now at some point. Hopefully we'll get you in the starting sequence. So go ahead and we'll start a new game. Okay, he's a veteran. We're going to show subtitles. I'm going to turn off the beginner information. We're going to do the tutorial and we're going to go ahead and start the game. Now, you have an option of whether or not the Iron Man. And with Iron Man, you only get one save for the entire game. We're not going to do that right now. And, yes, we do want Alien Enter's Nest and Shen's Last Gift. Those are actually excellent features. But, uh, this will be the first couple of days. Excitement continues to build as city center 
troops across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by French elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. their peaceful enclaves within the city centers. It's time we move in and show them the fight isn't over yet. We're deploying to hit a high-profile target, one that they won't be able to cover up so easily. Move to secure the target site and eliminate any hostile contacts in the area. Okay, so basically this is the opening scene from XCOM 2. Now, for those of you who have not been familiar with the game, but you've played XCOM before, uh, just give you a heads up, although you got some of the hits here in the opening scene. Uh, when Firaxis decided to redo this game, they actually went back and they studied all the data that had come from Steam players. And they found that only 24% of all games played that were uh, recorded by Steam actually won the game. At least 24 players actually won the game at least once. And then you know, in Iron Man mode, only 2% are played. So when they decided to come up with the, an XCOM 2, they decided, well, scrap what happened with uh, XCOM Enemy Within, which was uh, kind of the sequel to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Uh, it never got that far. Humanity lost the war. The uh, Council of Nations uh, decided to side with the aliens and created the uh, and they in turn created the city-states that they could go and occupy, and the elders would take care of them. But as the game winds up and you discover throughout the game that it has its consequences. So here we are, and the person you saw in the very beginning and was speaking in a voiceover, that's actually Central Officer Bradford, uh, known as Central in the last game. Only he's aged about 30 years, so 20, 30 years or so. But let's go ahead and start the game.
Menace 1 5. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X 4 charges at the designated position. Okay, so we go ahead and hey, there's Josh. There he is. Uh, he is a recruit. And we can see our area of movement here, of course. That immediate area stays within my movement, which allows me a secondary movement, which I can move all the way out here where you can see the gold bar. Uh, that's dashing. But I want to stay in cover, and I don't have a time limit. My basic idea is to get over here and plant charges, so I want to be careful with this, because as you can see, we're, well, they're right there. You saw that little icon. That means if I move into that spot, there's a chance that I will be spotted, which means everybody's clever gets blown. And uh, the bad guys, the aliens, will know where you are and start moving in your direction. So we want to maintain stealth as much as possible for as long as possible to get the other hand. So Josh, your first move, we're going to move you right up here. That's going to provide you some cover fire if needed. Rolling. And we can see what's around the corner. All right, looks OK. But we're going to play it safer. We're just going to go ahead and put him on Overwatch. Overwatch. Now, basically what Overwatch does, if anybody moves into his line of sight where he is spotted, then he immediately gains a reaction to attack. And, all right, who we got here? We got Matt. Matt Singh, a oh, former corp worker of mine. Matt, we're going to move you right over here. On the move. Go ahead and put you on Overwatch. Got a cover. And we got my brother. Actually, yes, Donovan is not in Texas. He's actually fighting aliens as we speak when he's not singing. Oh, no, just kidding. He's still in Texas and uh, doing fairly well for himself. Although I'll probably see him soon. He's planning on coming up here to uh, do some him. antiquing. He has an antique business where he buys and resells. I'm on it. All right, and then we got up. Oh, now, hats off to Michelle, my current employer. Uh, this is my boss. Yeah, I put her in the XCOM, too. That's pretty mean of me. <laughs> but I got all manner of my friends in here and uh, people I know I'm acquainted with. And uh, that's when you know that you're really addicted to this game because the basic idea is when you change the names of the characters of people that you know, you're more inclined to take better care of them and to just use them as cannon fodder. So, my way. Okay, Josh, we're going to move you up here. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Okay, so we got three Advent. Let's see, we got a trooper. Okay, they're all three troopers. We're going to hold off in here until we get some help. On Overwatch. I'm put Matt up on the roof. See if we can't get him up over here. Come around this way. Okay, now we got some everybody over there, so let's see here. We'll put him right up here for now. Chance we might get spotted. No, we're all right. I'm going to go ahead and take a chance and put him all the way up there. Now, he's done his full movement, so he's done. Oh, I've got to get over there. I probably want to start moving this way. Where are we going to move Donovan? Of course, at some point, that might be a problem for us. So we'll go ahead and we'll put Good Donovan help. over here. Michelle, we're actually going to send you around the corner this way. Go, go, go! Let's change your plans here. Okay, we're going to hold them up. Scanning. Get Matt over here. We can get into... Moving on target location. Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch. Don's got a pretty good... I'll see if I can, can't move him really any closer. He's going to be... 
having problems, but I could probably put him right there. Or I could get him up here on top there. That's that's not a bad idea. We'll do that. Affirmative. Moving out. So this way, if anything comes in my way, like a patrol, then I'll be able to take those guys out with overlapping fields of fire. Now, we'll come back to Michelle. Yep, oh, yeah, see, we got a problem. If I go there, we should get spotted. So, hmm. What to do, what to do. Well, let's kind of bring her over this way. I actually might want to see about moving her back over here. Let's do this. Okay, can we move Josh up maybe a little bit? He won't have much cover, but... I've got my eyes on. I'm on it. Okay, they're all on Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Michelle, we're gonna bring Michelle right up in here. Stepping off. Okay, so we got their basic field of movement. Eyes on Cover. the prize. Matt will actually make the first shot. Eyes on the prize. On Overwatch. All right, man. What kind of shot you got? 89%. That's him. Open fire. Killed him. That leaves two. Target neutralized. And our cover is blown. We're busted. something on this one. Yeah, they've dropped loot. Now, if you remember in XCOM, one of the things I always found that was a problem was that there wasn't any loot. You could never pick anything up. And uh, I kind of miss the old days where you could actually pick stuff Menace up. Menace 1-5, you're near the target position. And we got an auto loader. Now, we could actually take these equipment I'm and sure apply the them to our weapons. Okay, we're going to leave Matt up here. He's got a good strategic position. Uh, we're going to put Donnie down here. That's affirmative. On Overwatch. And Michelle's going to take the high Moving ground Moving a target here. location. Moving to Overwatch. All right, Josh, keep going, bud. Let's see. Moving out! Try to stay in the cover as much as possible. On overwatch! Scanning. And let's see. Put him over here. Moving to designated position. Affirmative. Covering now. And our right, Michelle will stay on overwatch. Alien's turn. Do you hear something? We got movement. Yep, here they come. <laughs> now that is actually an epic officer. Not even close. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Matt doesn't have a shot on anybody. Let's get him down. Well, let's see if Michelle's got a shot. No. Oh, I probably want to bring her over here. Heading to that location. Now she's got shots. But 
Do we have them in grenade range? Well, not quite. Let's see if we can take that advent trooper out. definitely get one or two. Although if I move him up here. Headed there now. I've got one of them flanked and I can get a grenade blast on looks like both of them. Maybe, maybe not. I can definitely blow up some cover, so we'll do that. Killed one of them. Yeah. Oh, this is risky. Of course, I do have him. Let's go ahead and get him out. Got some cover with him. Well, no, I need to keep him alive. Let's see. Move him over here. Both of them flank that way. Headshot. Nice one, Josh. Excellent. All right. What you doing when you're not a DJ? Oh, come on. He's on Overwatch. Okay, well, we're going to have to remedy that. Of course. Could try to make her dash there and draw his fire. I'll try that. On it. Oh, that's a map. Oh, sorry, map. Way to take one for the team, bud. Alright, Josh. Let's get Don over here. Let's flank him. We'll take him Position out. Position confirmed. Get him. Got him. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace one five. We have a limited window to act before advent. All right. All you have to do is hit this we little three button. See that? That's kind of an action. We plant the X four charges, which are just like a C four charges, only with an X. And mission accomplished. Menace one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Our extraction Status point. confirmed. Squad is clear. Detonating charge. On some modes of games, you actually have to exit everybody. And we have a flawless victory. Not bad for our first action. All right. 60% shot range, average damage per attack. Average cover bonus. Now, when you actually break a record, it'll actually tell you in the uh, post battle results. But pretty much everyone earned a promotion out of this. That does take a minute or two for this to load, but. Yeah, everybody in the back of the uh, Sky Ranger will behave according to how the mission went. So if this had gone badly, people would be shaking their heads and had their head in their hands and crying and. <laughs> Looking pretty rough, but this went absolutely perfect. So, as I said, it takes a while. Turning base. When this actually turns green, or is this returning to base? You can press any button on your keyboard, and then you can go back into the game. But what it's doing right now is actually saving and downloading data to Steam where they're reporting the results to you for access. So, okay, press.
press any key to continue, we'll do that. I'm always pleased when the troops return without any reported casualties. I can't hope for a better outcome. Alright, so let's go ahead and promote Josh. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Alright, Josh is our sniper. Yeah, he has the squad sight ability. And basically what that means is that you can target enemies within the squad and made sight, provided there is a line of sight to the target. Michelle! They always make Michelle a heavy weapon. I don't know what it is about experts, this. The Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Alright. And you launch a grenade, you can actually fire a grenade. It goes farther and it does a little more blast damage. Of course, you've got the uh, mini gun there. Yeah, now Matt is normally it turns out here, so I'm not a specialist. Our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. All right, and you get the aid protocol, which means you can grant uh, bonus to defense to another character. All right, and finally Donovan. He's our ranger. The ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit. Capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Now, one of the things they did with XCOM is make melee more prominent. Uh, that was something that was always kind of lacking in the original XCOM games. And so he can slash. Now, he can actually do a run to act to his maximum movement and attack a target within that. <coughs> Alright. Those your classes, and then we get our loot. So we got five trooper corpses, one officer corpse, and one auto loader. Now, basically, that would provide uh, one of our weapons an automatic reload without costing any movement points. And this Commander is our ship. To the research labs. All right, so here's our research lab. This is the actual ship. We've got a pan around here. You can actually see it. It's like sitting on the floor of a desert. Now, what happened to the base, you ask? Well, you don't have a base anymore. XCOM folded. They were defeated. Well, aside from us getting this ship up and running, which was mostly Dr. Shen's work, I haven't felt particularly useful in a long time. I'm more than happy to leave the hard decisions to the commander. All right, so we'll go ahead to the research lab here. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Okay, so what this hints at, basically, is uh, when you play the actual tutorial and you do the mission that we just went through, uh, it cuts to a, it's actually a ruse to actually locate you, the commander. And there's an actual mission where they go into a building and retrieve your body and recover you and bring you back. 
now since I didn't do the tutorial the game cuts through all of that sequence because it's rather cinematic and, and lengthy and it'd be another 20 minutes or so of cinematic stuff so but let's go ahead and uh, look into our research here we can do modular weapons we can do hybrid materials or we can do the alien biotech um, first thing I want to do is try to get better weapons so I do yeah. find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Okay. Yeah, I can pan out here. I have to admit, there is something exciting about working under the more intense conditions found on the Avenger. Every decision, every development is of the utmost importance. There's no room for mistakes here. All right, next we're being asked to go to engineer. Commander to engineering. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here... I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Okay, and so we come to find out what happened to Dr. Shen from XCOM, uh, Enemy Unknown. Uh, he has since passed away, but he has left this and his daughter uh, to help in our pursuit of uh, overthrowing the alien domination of our world. And this is probably one of the inter more interesting touches uh, where they play homage to the old game in an interesting way rather than trying to resurrect old characters. Uh, they've aged them, they've allowed natural course events to take place and things will actually evolve in the game involving both Chief Engineer Shen and then the uh, Dr. Valen, Valen uh, who is the scientist of the original XCOM Enemy Within. She makes a cameo appearance in this well, but I won't spoil it for you. Um, you'll have to play that to find out. So, okay, so we're done here, although we could probably... We don't have any engineers. We'll give you our inventory, which is pretty much what we've captured. Uh, we can build facilities right now, which we don't have anybody really available to do that. We can build items. And I probably want to do this right now. I currently have 175 supplies. So I can do a flashbang grenade, but we are going to need a medkit at some point. We need at least one. You want to be mindful of uh, what your supplies are and what you actually need. Because as the game progresses, um, you have to balance your supplies with what your actual needs are, because you're essentially a guerrilla outfit. We noticed early on that the Avenger has a tendency to dip forward when the power core is under load without the engines engaged. At first I thought maybe it was a stabilizer issue, but now I'm starting to think it's all just part of the alien's grand design. The core itself may not be entirely stable, which would explain why the aliens went through so much trouble to isolate it in the bow. Hmm, interesting note. Okay, so we don't really have anything else. Uh, we can go to the armory, of course. As we can see, we have a memorial. Now, when people actually die in battle, their picture will actually come up over here, and you can actually click on it, which I don't have anybody there, but hey! Who is that Matt? Matt, what are you doing behind the bar? Oh my gosh, Darlene's going to be <sighs> drinking on the job. I can't believe this is my brother. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I've got all my brothers in here. And actually, the likeness of them is, is pretty uh, pretty amazing. Now, I'll show you here. Let's see the soldiers. 
So, up. Oh, we actually have a few cameo appearances here by everybody. Um, of course, we've already met Michelle, my boss. Josh, of course. I, and I'm sorry, Josh, that's the best I can do with your likeness. Uh, Matt, yeah, Matt, that's the best I can do with you, bud. Although, I think you look a little better thinner, Matt. Just kidding, man. Hope you're well. And then uh, Donovan, we've already seen now as a ranger. We've got everybody here but Aaron. Oh, another co-worker of mine, Daniel Devane. There you go, Dan. And yeah, we'll be finding you pretty here, but there's Matt. Cigar in mouth, glasses, beard. Looking good, bud. All right, and then we got Ben. Well, this is, I imagine, how Ben would look, actually, when he were to grow up here in about uh, 10 years or so. So, give it time, bud. And then, of course, yours truly, Ross Algar himself. <laughs> Compete with Shamak Camel. Uh, tribute to my experience in the Gulf War in uh, 1990 uh, 90 and 91. But uh, we'll be seeing more of me later, I guess. So that's it for engineering, armory. Okay, we're taking a look at your command post. So this is your room. So pretty much there's not a whole lot to see. Now, throughout here, there are little Easter eggs throughout the game. Um, you go through the XCOM archives, which you can go through all of this at your leisure. Well, I'm not going to bore you with all of this, but this is pretty much everything you've missed uh, if you haven't played it and you want to cover it. The event report tells you how your power, your status, what kind of buildings you have, and then your objectives, which I currently don't have any. So, after all that's said and done, you go up right here to the bridge. Now, let's just kind of pan through here and you can zoom in. And you can see all the stations and the corridors. This is one of the neat parts about the game is that it'll actually animate. Now here's <laughs> the weapons lab. My little cameos there, one of the original greys. Uh, or Easter eggs rather. And let's see, we just visited the army where we talked to Shen. Anything in here? We got a bay. Okay, we got the Sky Ranger, we got crew working on it. Oh, there's Ben over there. A couple other people. There's Michelle at work. Uh, not sure who that is over there, but and then we got these rooms here. We could actually clean out and uh, make that. I think I got a room free. Actually, I do. Let's see. We got our living quarters. Anybody in there right now? Who's that over there? That might be Donovan. All right, and. That's it for now. Let's see here. Let's go to the bridge. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Well, there we go. Okay, we have recent reports of members of resistance in the western United States and broadest reports activity that we may want to investigate. We have four times to, four days to investigate and supplies. Now Avenger plotting new course. As the game unfolds, you'll find yourself actually on a countdown against time as Advent is moving more and more with their plans and you're trying to stop them. Right now, just beginning, trying to get the feel for things, so let's go ahead and try to get these supplies here. This is going to take four days, and you just click on that. So far, so good. I am good. sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Okay, we've got our results back in day three. So I can now research magnetic weapons, and there's weapon upgrades are available. Okay, we'll accept. Now, uh, let's 
let's see, we can do magnetic weapons, that's going to take 28 days, alien biotech will take 5, but let's go ahead and do hybrid materials. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Now, you can always go right back direct to the bridge with this little button right here, or one on your keyboard. And let's finish that. Strategic resource located. Okay. Legal illegally operated transport truck broke down the waste, and upon seeing the Avenger moving in, the driver ran for cover. However, he quickly returned as our squad approached and asked for help with repairs. After our engineers got the vehicle running again, the driver handed over a few supplies in appreciation. Alright, after our recent success, members of the Resistance of Western U.S. have brought us reports of activity we, we want to investigate. Avenger plotting new course. Now, as the game provides, you have certain gorilla ops that come up that you need to address. So, we have a target, card new targets. And, Operation Star Shadow. Recover item from an advent train. Difficulty easy. Resort. We get a, a, a reward, excuse me. Dr. Melissa Wagner, an engineer. Well, we need one of those. Let's go ahead and confirm. Setting course for Sector 9, Western United States. We'll have to put our current activity on hold for this. And we're at the mission deployment screen where we can equip everybody. So let's go ahead and uh, get in here. Now I could upgrade that weapon if I wanted to, but I want to go ahead and give Matt the uh, actual med kit instead of a grenade. I don't really have anything else for anybody. Now, through here you can actually edit things for people. Uh, for example, let's go ahead and back over to Josh. Yeah, we can customize him a bit. We could, let's say, let's take care of his armor color here. Let's lighten that up. Change his weapon color. You can even change the uh, weapon uh, pattern. We'll give him a darker color. Okay. Go ahead and launch. Sky Ranger deployed. Ready to deploy. Begin the mission. Resistance forces operating out of this area tipped us to an advent train carrying a data vault full of records critical to the alien's latest project. This is our chance to slow their efforts, so we're moving in to seize that vault one way or another. Take out all hostile contacts and lock down the area. We need to secure those assets. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Did I seriously just fly that through a building? That was pretty amazing. Menace 1-5, we've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are in place at the target. 
Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Alright, Josh, let's move you up here. I can find a way to get you on that roof. Yeah, I'm going to pan the camera here and see. Yep, there we go. So, first things first. Let's move you up here in the cover. Moving. Yeah, Alright, put you on pistol overwatch. Got it covered. Alright, Matt. Uh, I'll put you over here. Oh, there's a way up. Okay. Heading out. Got a cover. Alright, Donovan. I'll put you right up here. Got it covered. And Michelle. Let's put you right over here. On the move. Overwatch. Okay. Josh, get you on the roof. Confirmed. Moving out. And we'll move you up over here. Although they bear some resemblance oh, no. to the sexoids first encountered during the invasion, really? their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. We're gonna have to kill that thing with extreme prejudice. Alright, Matt, let's see if there's anything on your side here. Let's open that door. Actually, here. Oh, now your uh, support units—they can actually hack into things. And towers here, uh, of course, can uh, help benefit. Let's go ahead and do that now. Infiltrating access point. So he sends his drone over, and through that he can hack into it. That doesn't look good. We have a tech score of 50 against 80, which basically gives you a plus or minus bonus and a chance at success if we fail. And with our attempt to get a small intel cache, which is hacks into the tower, which uh, prevents the tower reporting our position, but it also gives us some intelligence. 54% chance. But if we fail, a fail attack result in the group of enemy reinforcements being called to your position. Okay, well, I don't want to risk that right now. So we're going to cancel the attack. And canceling that particular attack does not affect my movement. So we're going to go ahead then and... Uh, actually, let's see, I don't have any other windows. I might get Matt right up in there at some point, but we'll put him over here for now. Position confirmed. Our gremlins can attempt to access the advent network from here. We might be able to hack their systems and get an advantage. But be careful. If they detect us, things will only get worse. Yeah, as I said, I thought I'd turn that feature off. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get our ranger closer into position here. I don't want to get... If I get into those red squares there, I'll, my car cover's blown. It's all over. So we're going to put him right up in here. That means it doesn't really give me a lot of cover, but they don't have line of sight to me, so... I'm on the move. Oh, what's this? If I could do... Each little hash mark here is a hit point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's not enough. But we'll keep that in mind. I'll put the on Overwatch. I'm on it. All right, let's get Michelle up here. We need some heavy firepower. We're gonna put her up in here. No need to ask twice. All right, 
Let's get Matt into a better line of fire here. I need to be able to take him out. Yeah. Let's wait. Order's confirmed. Moving out. Enemy sighted. Oh, that's not good. More of them. Well, let's see. Scanning. Maybe move Matt over. No, no, no. We're going to take the first shot with Matt. He's got 95% chance. And... Put Don right there. On the move. Give him full cover. They keep these trains running around the clock, but you'll never see them loading or unloading any cargo. At least not where anyone can see it. All right, we got six turns to get hacked into hacked into that thing. I need to get moving here. Okay, we can't waste any more time. Overwatch. Overwatch. Everybody ready? No. Okay, get Michelle up here. Okay. Overwatch. No, I could probably blow that up. No, not quite. Overwatch. Got it covered. All right, Matt. Here we go. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Cover his bomb. Just what I needed to happen. Oh, fantastic. Good riddance. Alien's turn. What's he doing? Believe it or not, they can raise the dead now. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. Alright, man. I'm gonna take out the zombie. Alright, 55% or do I try to blow the train? That's a guaranteed hit. Here, come on, Michelle. Of course, I didn't stop to think about it. I do have a frag. Here we go. All right, we'll do a frag launcher here. We'll All I gotta do is kill him. There we go. Whoa. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Let's get everybody up here. Good copy. Moving on target. Five turns left. Ooh, let's keep you into cover. All right. Matt, yeah, what are you... Okay. Let's move him up here. Getting it done. You've got eyes on the objective. 
Menace 1-5, this is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Alright, Josh. I can hack it from here, I think. I sure can. Bypassing security. Okay, now here I'm guaranteed to disarm the detonator, but I've got a chance that I can uncover some, uh, or reduce research time, or recover lead on an alien facility. We'll try that. Oh. oh well. But we did disarm it. Hack the planet. Menace 1 5 acknowledged. The package is secure. Be advised, reinforcements are inbound. Eliminate all hostiles threatening the AO. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Well, Matt. You're on Overwatch. Donnie, you're on Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. And Michelle. You're moving up. Mission confirmed. And you're on Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. I actually want to show you what one of the ranger abilities is here. We can actually do a slash. Come in, let's actually come in and flank him here. <laughs> Fantastic. Kill confirmed. But that ends his turn. So let's see. Josh, I want to get you up on that tower. No need to ask twice. All right. Let's see here. Moving to position. I've got eyes on an advent position. There they are. Thirty-three percent there, thirty-seven percent, and you're my medic. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put aid protocol on myself. So Josh is going to be a minute or two. That gives me a plus twenty defense. Try to move where I can flank them. Affirmative. Yeah, Alright, he's trying to get back. Uh oh. Josh, do you have a shot? Oh, 
Good man, good man. Taken care of. Now. Let's hold off on the med kit for a minute. Double time. Get Donovan up into the fight here. Ends his movement. Move, move, move. No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was not intentional. Alright, let's see. He's got... Grenade out! That's a bit of bullshit. gonna try to take me yeah. out. Miss, please miss. Matt. Notice one five, we've lost control of the package. Recover it at all costs. We can't afford to lose that material to the aliens. Matt, I am so sorry, bud. <laughs> Alright, but we got him flanked. Oh, we gotta reload. Darn it. Nope. I'm gonna have to do a pistol shot. If I reload, it'll... Got him! Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Oh, boy. Uh, you can see now, uh, everybody's behaving inside. You lost your crew member. I don't know what happened there. I think my finger on the mouse button hit something and he moved. I, I don't know. That was not supposed to happen. But that's why you can always load saved games. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> okay. Josh, you get promoted. I can either do long watch, or I can return fire. Oh, let's do long watch, that's helpful. And Donovan, you're gonna be the blade master. Oh, Matt. no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. 
It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. New objective added. Yeah, that guy sounds like he's been smoking cigarettes since he was seven. Goodness. Contact the resistance in the Black Side region. All right. Hello, I've updated Commander. our latest operational objectives, Commander. We've got our engineer. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put her to work. And we're going to have her clear alien debris. You opened Sign the engineer. Excavate. Now, it'll take five days, but once you actually un um, excavate parts of the ship, you'll get equipment and what have you. As you'll see a reward down here in the bottom supplies, 29 alien alloys. Um, anything with an exposed power coil, you can put something there with that won't generate any power from the ship. So, Alright, but let's go back over here. As you can see now, we've actually got a little thing up here. There's Josh breaking a memory of Matt. Yep. If you actually click on it, it should be, uh, oh, the Fallen Soldiers, here we go. So there's Matt. It takes us over there. So, Matt, missions two, kills three, last day of service, March 6th. Five days on the adventure, lost to an Advent officer and mag rifle. Two attacks made, 14 damage dealt, and three attacks survived. What kind of epitaph do we want to give you? Uh, let's see. And there'll be many more to come. But that is XCOM 2. And of course, we just got now what is basically the, the plot is that there is a Commander, race against time. We have a lead on the alien black site, but we'll have to rely on the local resistance to actually get us into the facility. We should try to make contact with their forces in the region as soon as possible. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called Avatar project. Commander, you're not gonna believe this. We just picked up a signal from an emergency locator beacon. It's definitely one of ours, from the original invasion. I know it sounds crazy, but if there's any chance some of our people could still be out there, I think we owe it to them to find out. Okay. So what we are doing previously is we had our... I'm gonna go get supplies, let's go ahead and finish that. Avenger plotting new course. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Hmm, now a skill of vest and plated armor.
All right, now I recommend at this point that you want to get uh, your resistance communications done as soon as possible because that's going to be key in your ability to actually be successful in the game. Stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. From my own experience, Advent generally deploys heavy security rather than subterfuge when it comes to protecting their primary facilities, at least the ones I had access to personally. If they have gone to the trouble of hiding this black site, I suspect our findings there will lead us to even greater questions. Okay. The one thing to consider right now is I don't have any ability to communicate uh, with other sites. In order for me to do that, I have to go over here to the eastern United States and make contact with local cells. And once I've done that, I can't do that without communications equipment. So that's why that is a very critical thing right now. In the meantime, we're going to finish the supply drop or find the abandoned colony. Hey, we got some uh, new recruits. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, check into Avenger this. Avenger plotting new course. Right, we got our locator beacon. Got the debris cleared, we'll give you the room. Now I've got some supplies, and one of the things I want to start doing is uh, expand our capability. So I'm going to back out here, and the first thing I'm going to do is right over here we're going to put in the Gorilla Tactics School. Now basically what this does, it allows me to train recruits to a squatty level <clears throat> where they actually have a uh, specialty. And then you can actually train recruits to replace lost construction initiated. Uh, losses that occur in, during the game. And then there are other benefits you gain uh, from tactics. Okay, so she's going to now build the Gorilla Tactics School, but her contribution is going to cut the construction time 50%, and it's going to take seven days, which falls into the timeline of what we want to do. So. Let's go back here to our base here. Finish the locator beacon. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so, uh, researching this now, I, there's a resistance comm facility that we get build. We can uh, resistance radio communications and we can make contacts with resistance cells. <coughs> now we can go ahead and begin our uh, other research here. Let's see. Alien biotech. That would probably be useful. We'll go ahead and do that. That involves the chip we found. I you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Okay. Commander, we can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the globe. Once we've collected sufficient intel to make contact, we'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. Okay, so this gives us an idea of what region we can contact. All right. But we got one more day on the locator beacon. Incoming transmission. Operation Empty Hammer. Rescue VIP from the Advent Cell. Reward is Dally, uh, Dr. Sally Hawkins and 100 and, uh, a scientist by the name of Dr. Sally Hawkins and 108 Intel. Now, Intel is important for establishing communications with other operations across the world. So that is a critical piece of gear we're going to need. Do I want to launch the mission? Well, we'll go ahead and we'll pause the game for now and we'll come back to it uh, later, uh, which point we'll continue our progress. This will probably involve a mission, but 
I hope this Josh gives you an uh, insight of just how incredible this game is. Uh, it will, uh, as you saw in gameplay, um, make you pay dearly for mistakes that you make. But if you keep your head in the game, uh, you can actually do really well. Um, that is XCOM 2. Now, if you have any questions, comments, uh, please go ahead and put them in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is Ross Algar and with XCOM 2. Have a great night.